Guys and girls, AJ here. Today we are comparing the real ones and the fake ones. So just check out this video. Please rate and subscribe and share. And I'll see you real soon. So, right, so we have two AirPod Pros. I think they're slightly different in size. Let me compare them. But obviously, these ones are the real ones. These ones are the fake ones. They've got a nice, soft, rubbery texture with the fake ones. And then, obviously, the non-fake ones don't, which I think this needs to be updated. Apparently there is an update coming soon. Um, just to let you know that I've got this widget here, or two widgets, one from Widgie, and the other one from Maloco. And I'll put a description for both of these two in the uh, description down below. And also the wallpaper, I'll try and remember where I got that from actually, as well. There we go, we've got a few more there. So you can mix it up, you could have different ones for each page if you wanted to. Um, obviously we've got the other, the standard widgets that you get on Apple. Another one there. And you've got these ones from Apple. This isn't from Apple, it's from Widgie and Widgie. And that is it. Anyway, right, so let's carry on back where we were. So, you have the fake pair and um, the real pair, sorry, and the fake pair. Now the fake ones, they look very, very similar indeed. And they do come up with this. Now this is interesting. As you can see now, we have 12%. Now I had that on charge for over an hour and it was at another percentage, which I'll put the picture somewhere and you'll see what it was before I charged it. So this is very weird indeed that this is now changed so you now look 22 percent and 33 percent now that's quite baffling um because this was a hundred percent the case and these two were i think 90 and 70 so it's been charging for an hour and uh not very good at all so that's the problem with those the battery or the sensor for the battery is shit and then we have these ones, which there we are. So that's weird, nothing comes up there for some reason. Oh, there we go. So there's a bug, but it's 50%, 57% rather. Take these out and see how much percentage on these. Look at that, so you take them out and they're both on 100%. Bizarre, very odd indeed. Right, so if we go to settings, we go in there. Now, so we've got Bluetooth on. So if we go to, they're both connected. So this is the good thing we can, we can see the difference in what works. So these ones are for the real ones. So noise cancellations, both need to be in the ears. So that proves to me that these are real. So put them in and you notice a different when I'm talking, you notice the difference, how different it sounds. Um, I don't know if you can pick that up on, on there at all, um, but you can notice the difference, which is really, really good. So as we know, you can do the ear test. So I'm just gonna do this for you guys so you can see the test being done so it says adjust or try a different ear tip my ears are a little bit weird try again Put that down we'll just listen and again it's come up with that but that doesn't matter um, they are both real so automatic ear detection connect to this iPhone automatically what other options we got 
when last connected to the iPhone, so we don't want that. Uh, Spattle audio, now that is really good. Um, and again, so that's really good. And you've got a microphone, which is automatic. Optimized battery charging. So, so this one you can have switch AirPods. So it switches automatically. Or you can have it left or right. So having it in both is good. So when you're speaking to someone, they get the perfect hearing sensation. Optimized battery charging. So all Apple devices come with that now. And then obviously the pro names and everything. Case 105 version. So you've got all these. So your serial number for the, that's clever isn't it? Left, right, and I suppose the case, model number, Apple Pro, disconnect, connect. So that's all the options there, which is pretty good. Now, if we take these out and try these ones, and these are the fake ones, go there, noise cancellation, None of this work at all. Ear test. So we'll try that. Go down. And it just says good seal. But it's not actually connected properly. Automatic ear detection, microphone, optimized battery charging. So we haven't got the other options or spat all there at all. Um, but like I've showed you before, the battery life on these are rubbish. Um, but they look pretty much very similar. The differences are as well on here. If you can see it in the light. But here you've got like a little speaker. Here you've got a sticker. Which is NAF. Uh, the button here works. So they, they feel very much similar it's just that one's got like a matte rubbery case on it the other one's different plastic which I'm not too keen on actually from Apple turn that off there you go so you get obviously spare ones of these in the box and you get spare ones of these in the box as well um, that's pointless I don't know what that does actually on the real ones. For instance, some design thing. Is that where the mic is? It's got a bit of writing in there on these ones. You do, I think, as well. Which is good. Like I say, the battery life of these ones are oh, not very good. Let's see if that fits in there. It fits in there perfectly. Yeah, that's good. Which is not bad. So, basically, the battery life on these fake ones are shit but when you listen to how they close that sounds a bit solid and that's not so solid and again inside you've got writing European fandangos and all that stuff in there or in these ones can't really see anything so charging port is the same, USB-C's, which are good. We've both got back buttons on the backs. I paid £89 for these, these fake ones. And my wife got these for, I, think, I don't know, 200 and something, I think. Which is not bad. Um, I don't know. What could be 199 I don't know, 190 something like that. But these are real though. Uh, we've got a bit of writing on the back there as well. Nothing to do with my initials. You get about three or four hours. I think it's continuous. And then with these ones, about an hour. Um, sound quality on these is all right, but not good enough for 80 odd pounds. And like I say, battery life is a waste of time. So really you want something with a battery, good battery life. Um, also the box they came in 
I was very surprised because it's not far from the actual Apple box. So, <clears throat> as you can see, you've got the black box with not much else on there. And then you've got the white box. So, they're both on there, similar design, but obviously dark. You've got, that's all you've got on there. Uh, black Pods Pro, name change, black map, GPS positioning, super bass, force touch. For super bass, no. Nope. GPS positioning, God knows. But there you go, you get a little Apple symbol. You don't get anything like that on the box there. Then you get this at the back as well, wireless charging care and everything. And the box doesn't feel as premium either um, compared to the Apple one. You get no black stickers in there, you get most instructions in Chinese. You get a cable there, and you get some buds, black buds as well which I might actually change over and put onto the, the originals. See how it looks, see if it looks nice. And then, by the way, this came in the post today. Red comes with screen protector, built in, and red strap. Red strap doesn't actually perfectly match that. I got this for two quid on Vivo. Vivo. Um, which is a Bit like eBay, I suppose. Um, but maybe a bit more illegal, I don't know. But there you go, so these are the real ones. Obviously, you've seen the unboxing of these. Quality. Quality engineering, I would say. But yeah, so if I was you, whatever you do, don't bother buying something like this. Um, in the respect that if you want to use spattle and you also want very good sound quality and also have transparency and the other options on and off then i wouldn't bother buying these because i don't think there's any fake ones out there that can do that yes these are good as in um, bluetooth 5 you can go quite a distance around the house i live in a house that's got solid walls 1930s build and I can pretty much leave my phone on the table downstairs in the dining room and walk all the way upstairs and still hear them playing. Now, that's a lot of solid wall in the way and they still played. And same with these, the real ones. Um, and I also have that with another pair which I have unboxed um, last year, I think it was. Bluetooth fives and they did the same. I can literally go outside of the house um, through solid walls um, the other side and I can still hear clearly no distortion at all so Bluetooth 5 is obviously the best um, the other ones that I've got are Bluetooth 4s and they're not as good um, sound quality they're probably the best but obviously you get lag in talk and things like that in speech which is not great but anyway that was just a quick little video on these things um, to basically say buy the original ones you know there's lots of deals out there now where you can pay monthly quite small for these rumor has it they are bringing out pros is it twos that'll be coming out maybe later this year beginning of next year 2021 2022 um, but I'll do another video soon on the latest rumors and news for iPhone 13s and also the new foldable phone and whether they'll make a cheap version, which I don't think they will. Anyway, AJ here, AJ out, please subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Ta-da.